за фок из-за с идиот дуинг. Welcome everyone. I'm your host, Billy McCluskey. And this is the Highlight Show. Located in the Ardennes countryside as Spa has been hosting races for over a century, and it's revered by drivers and fans alike. So it's a joy to be here in the studio because I didn't get an invite to actually go to the race as the drivers prepare for the first thrilling installment of the RB Racing League season. A whopping 4.35 miles there at Spa with long straights and seriously fast corners and some massive elevation changes. Sounds like the trip into the studio today with Steve the driver. This is a track that routinely delivers high quality racing. So we will have to wait and see what sort of racing we get from this bunch. We have already had the one shot qualifying where Jack got stuck in the ditch and Glenn had to have a gearbox change halfway around as he had a manual, but should have had an automatic. But after all that fun, Lee got pole position and the first point of the season. So this is the full lineup. Like I said, Lee got pole. In second position is Matt. That's the front row. Sandra is in third. So well done to her. Wait, how did that photo get in there? That's my wife's dog. Not sure what happened to Sam, but he's in fourth. Gearbox problems put Glenn in fifth. And Jack's team is still pulling his car out the ditch, so he started the back in sixth. Okay, this is the highlight show, so let's see some highlights. We'll start at the beginning. Run VT. The rain is very heavy. Lee's on pole, so let's see how well he does off the line. Lights go out, and away they go. Looks like Lee gets a good start. Matt has a bit of a wheel spin. Can Lee keep in front going into the first corner? Yes. But, no. Matt goes around the outside. Wait, Matt's followed by Sam and Jack. Lee loses a bit of ground there. I think I saw a bump, but we'll come back to that. Right, let's take a look from Matt's point of view. Okay, there's the spin off the line, but he manages to hold it. Lee gets away from him, and at this point is looking good for the first corner. But as they go around the corner, Matt stays wide and holds the corner well, especially with that heavy rain. From this angle, we can see as Sam and Jack make it through as well. Matt seems to pull away really well. Okay, let's go back to the bump I saw. It's with Sandra. She gets away really well. She tries to drift over to block off any attack on the corner and then... Somehow she loses some grip and hits the side of Sam's car. But manages to keep up with Lee. We're still on lap one. On board with Sam. Looking back as his teammate Lee, who had lost ground on the first corner, overtakes Sam up the hill. Whether Sam let his teammate through or Lee was just quicker, then Sam were never known. As Lee goes around Sam, he also takes Jack on the straight, and Lee is back in the second place. Sam takes the opportunity to follow his teammate and overtakes Jack along the straight. But he loses control on the corner, and Jack regains the place. Back on board with Sandra. She makes good ground on the leading path. She follows Lee up the hill and gets close to Sam. Going for the overtake, she changes her mind, but loses grip on the slippery surface hits the barrier, and taking some damage to the front wing. Sam closing in on the top two. His teammate is too far behind. They're going three wide. The two MP Motorsport drivers bump. Then Sam gets a bump and spins out. So we're gonna watch Matt's fourth lap. He had mostly an incident-free race. Apart from his teammate bumping him a couple of times in this lap and the incident on the last lap, I'm going to remind you to tune in to the Behind the Pitch show, hosted by Christy Winterbottom. And Christy has a special guest in the studio. Also, she will be talking to one of the drivers. If you wish to watch the full race from the point of view of each driver, you can, as the channel will be uploading the full race videos. Just keep an eye out for the videos on this channel.
that's it for now. But coming up after the break, we see the fastest lap and the biggest incident of the race. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. Welcome back. In a minute, we will take a look at the big incident. But first, the best or fastest lap of the race from Jack. Lap three. I'm gonna stay quiet and allow you to enjoy the splendor that is Jack driving. That's the best lap, just goes to show how bad the other drivers were. Time to look at the incident that involves Matt and Lee. It happened on the last lap of the race. Coming into the last two corners, Matt was in P1, Jack was P2, and Lee was in P3. When we all first saw the footage, it just looked like Lee had missed Judge the overtake on Jack and ended up hitting Matt. But when you look closer, it seems that Lee is heading for Matt, as Lee launches himself off the curb into the back wheel of Matt's car. Run the clips. So, for that incident, Lee picked up a six-second penalty. And because Jack had gone off track, he picked up a two-second penalty. Which means the result of the race is... In first place is Matt. Second place is Jack. Because of the incident, Lee is in third. Sam managed to hold on to fourth. Glenn slid past the finish line in fifth. And Sandra came in sixth place. So that was the exciting opening race of the RB Racing League Season 1. Drive hard or do donuts. I can't tell you where we're going to be next time, as it is randomly picked, but there will be a next time. Remember to watch the Behind the Pitch show with Christy Winterbottom. But for now, please, like, share, and consider subscribing to the channel. This has been The Highlight Show, and I was Billy McCluskey. Catch you next time, and bye for now.